You guys have sent in a couple of requests now for two particular things. Number one, how to spend money in the game. Where should I be spending my money according to my budget? And number two, how do I as a free-to-play player manage my resources and manage to have so many resources for things like the shop event and upgrades and that sort of thing? Well, today I'm going to be making two videos. This first video today is going to be on the money side of things. And the second video will be on resource management. And the reason why I'm splitting it into two videos is simply because the money one is going to be quite a long one to try and get through. And I don't want you to sit through a one hour video. So let's get started with the first video. And that being money, where to spend it and how much to spend. Hey guys, Poke Mountain here bringing you another Learning Corner video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing money. Where do I spend my money in the game? What should I be looking at purchasing? What is important and what isn't? Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the money first. Okay, Money in this game is somewhat tricky. There are a couple of things that you kind of really, really need but are quite expensive. And then you've got a lot of items that's going to really help you in the game that is not expensive at all. And let's have a quick look. What we're going to do is we're going to be going through the section by section to make it as easy and simple as possible. The first thing and quite possibly the most important thing that I can recommend to any person who, can, who is going to be able to spend a minimal amount in the game all the way up to somebody who spends a lot in the game and that is going to be your one dollar bundles okay i consider myself a free-to-play player but i do purchase the one dollar bundles um where i can when and where i can it's not that often but when i purchase them they do come in handy Right, so where do you see these $1 bundles? Which $1 bundles are we talking about? So the first thing you do is every day you're going to look at here, your limited deal. You're going to look at your bundle bonanza and you're going to be looking at the War Aid Center. If we go into limited deal, you will see whenever there's a shop event, for example, you have a $1 bundle that's going to give you more of the item that you're trying to collect. This is not bad because you're going to be getting resources as well as those items. And those items are going to help you in your shop to get either more resources or more material to get more of those items so that you can get what you're wanting at the end of the day. So this $1 bundle is actually pretty decent. Then you've got your limited deal. If we go down to limited deal, if you look at the bottom here and you scroll across, you will see every single time there is at least one $1 bundle. In today's case, in today's particular case, it is the Smith's Dragon Emblem. Now, because the shop event is on, each day that the shop is on, whatever items you have for upgrade that day, that will be your $1 bundle. So yesterday, for example, was an equipment upgrade. You had a $1 bundle that gave you two chests for equipment. In today's $1 bundle, it is a Smith's Dragon Emblem chest. And now this emblem can give you anything from a Luminous uh, Emblem all the way to a water drake emblem now the thing is you might not need another emblem for example another water drake for example or a scarlet or whatever the case might be you might be fully maxed out on your water drake emblems but if you purchase this and you do get a water drake emblem you can always dismantle it for the materials that would have created it then you can take those materials and you can upgrade what you currently have. Same thing with your equipment. If you purchase the equipment chests and you get Flamebringer armor or Destruction armor, for example, but you're already maxed out on your Destruction armor and you're now working towards Imperian, for example, you can still purchase that bundle and whatever you get in it, you can dismantle to give you materials to upgrade your existing destruction or upgrade your existing Empyrean. So these $1 bundles here that are under the limited deal are really, really good to get. On top of that, and this isn't a $1 bundle, but while we're here, I just want to show you, you often have these rebate uh, sales where it's buy three, get one free. So for example, in this particular case, if I click the I, I can see four Lionheart manuscripts, Emblem Essence, 3k food 150 silver and 600 iron so i can purchase this bundle and i can purchase this bundle for five dollars 
and I can do it three times and I will get a fourth one of this exact same bundle for free. Now, is this going to pertain to you? Potentially. Potentially. This is actually somewhat of a decent deal, especially when you've got, for example, your NS3 heroes, which are a lot more difficult to get a hold of. So if you're a medium spend player and you're trying to get those, those fragments, for example, and you need to level up the skills, these rebate bundles are going to help you out quite a bit as well. So don't discount them. Think about them as well. If there's something here that's going to assist you, like Silver Obsidian, for example, not the easiest item to come across. If this is going to help you in the game get more of your shop items, which is going to get you more of your hero fragments, for example, then it might be worthwhile doing. So don't discount the rebate section. They can actually come in handy. Right. The next part is the bundle bonanza. Sometimes these bundle bonanzas also have a $1 deal. So go through them and have a look. That's a $5 deal. That's a $5 deal. $5, $5, $5. This one we'll talk about a little bit later. And there's a $1 deal, which gives you one Royal Challenger key. Now, I don't personally purchase these keys for the Noble Pass. Um, so I know a lot of people do purchase them. And a lot of people have had luck in, for example, getting the new Immortal Gems or getting the Lionheart uh, emblems and things like that. So that's up to you to decide. One key for $1, basically. Um, it's not too bad, actually, because what you can get out of it is, is actually pretty decent. If you're lucky, you can get yourself the emblems, or you can get yourself the, the gems, or the Water Drake emblems, for example. And these are leveled up to flawless already. Um, you can get the torrent weapons, which are rare, uh, leveled up to rare already. And scrolling down, you can see your other rewards that you can get. But even if you don't get any of these, you can be getting materials. Your statue materials, your emblem essence, your tears of ascension and things like that. So there is the chance that that one key is going to get you something that you actually need to, to further your game. So... Don't discount it, but personally, I just don't find it worth it. My budget is extremely tight in this game. Extremely, extremely, extremely tight. I will purchase a $1 bundle, for example, once a week. Um, so I would rather purchase the item that is going to progress me further into the game, easier and quicker. So that's why I don't personally purchase those noble keys. Right, and in the third place where you're going to be looking at your $1 bundles is here by Daily Deal. You're going to look at the $1 value deal. Now, this particular $1 deal is going to give you, if you are not a subscriber, it's going to give you 3,000 gold, and it's going to give you eight of these chests or little boxes that if you open them, you will see... Let's open it. There we go. So you can see you can get gallantry stones. Not very good, unfortunately. You can get potentially 6 to 10 construction speedups. You can get uh, 6 to 10 research speedups. You can get yourself some crystallized gem. Again, not 22 to 44. Not very good. 200 to 275 statue material. Flamebringer uh, ingots for flamebringer armor. All of these items, not really great, to be honest. Um, you're definitely going to get between 25 and 50 5K food packs and 5K wood packs. That's not bad. That's nice. And you're going to get some gold summoning homes. That's actually nice. So is this $1 bundle worth it? You're going to be getting eight sets of these food and wood. You're going to get eight sets of something else here. If you're getting the gold summoning or you're getting some upgrade materials yeah it's actually not bad it's not bad at all uh, if you get speed ups not bad either but when you get things like flame bringer ingots and gallantry stones which aren't going to help you at this point in the game most likely it's kind of a bit disappointing but the fact is you're going to get eight sets of the food eight sets of the wood and eight sets of some stuff from here so is this $1 bundle worth it? Yeah, it's still there. It's still worth it. It's still worth it at the end of the day. Even if you get uh, stuff that you don't necessarily use, you have got eight boxes to open that's going to probably max out on your odds of getting something decent. Right, let's have a look here through the shop quickly. We're going to start at the top and just shoot through all these items here. You can go through in your own time. It's just going to help you get materials and Nova badges and things like that quicker. Nothing too important in there. Here, 
This one is one of the most important items that you can purchase in the game. Now, for free-to-play players, low-spend players, and even minimal uh, uh, mid-range spenders, this might be a bit difficult for you to obtain. I haven't managed to obtain it yet. I'm hoping to be able to get it one day sort of thing. But if you can get this, or if you are sitting in a situation where you don't, you got money, you don't know what you want to spend, and you haven't got this, you want to get the War Wolf set. This War Wolf set is going to bring down your cost of construction hugely. For example, the first item gives you a 400,000 silver reduction to construction, a 4 million reduction to food for construction, a 20% reduction to food for construction. And when you add it all up here at the end of the day, you're basically getting 800,000 iron, 800,000 uh, 800, silver off, you're getting 8 million food off, you're getting 8 million uh, wood off, um, and you're getting uh, 1.6 million iron off, and you're getting 20% off of the construction costs on top of that as well. So this Warwolf pack is a definite must buy if you can. This is going to shoot you up in the game and it's going to allow you to maximize out on your growth potential on shop events growing and things like that. So this is a number one pick if you can afford it. Okay, going down anything else here that's critically important or anything? Not really. Again, you can go through in your own time and have a look. If it helps you to get through basic stuff, then go for it. But we're talking about the main stuff here. Right, this item here, the War Strategy Accolade Bundle, is another item I would highly recommend because it's going to reduce by 50% your silver, your time, your iron, your wood, and your food requirements to create uh, Tombs of War. So it's going to make a huge difference to your tombs which make a huge difference to the game itself so if you can purchase this it's a one-time purchase and you don't have to have the frame activated once you bought bought it and you've opened it and the frame is there under your accolades it's active automatically so it's, it just makes it easier and the thing with the war tombs is the, the more war tombs you make the more expensive it gets and the more expensive it gets and the more expensive it gets so if you can cut that cost down by half you are literally going to be doing twice as many war tombs as somebody who doesn't have one of these, for example. All right, so that is another critically important item. The uh, And it's not too bad. It's, uh, price wise, it's not too bad. It's $10. The next item that we're going to be looking at is the Knowledge Gemstone Bundle. Also very important. You've got three different levels. Your first level gives you six food stones, six wood, four iron, and two silver. And each of these is going to reduce research costs. So this one re reduces food requirements by 300,000 and by 2% each gem. This one is going to reduce wood requirements by 600,000 and 2% again each gem. This one is going to reduce iron requirements by 3% and 90,000 uh, 90, each gem. And then silver, once again, this is 6% each gem, and it's 45,000. Now, this is level 1. If you can only get 1, and you are, you, you're very restricted to how much you can spend, for example, this is the one you want to get. If you got a bit more money, and you can go higher, you can go with level 2, or even level 3, if you've got enough money. But we're talking uh, quite a bit of money here. Big money again like the uh the war wolf pack okay this is going to for example the third level gives you a eight hundred thousand reduction to your food requirements and a minus two percent two percent and 1.6 million for wood uh 240,000 for iron and three percent and 120,000 for silver six percent again for each gem so is it worth getting the third level Maybe not, because that's a hell of a big price for that reduction. But if you can, go for level 2 or go for level 1. Do the best you can. If you have got very little money, try for level 1. If you've got a medium amount of money, at least try for level 2. And if you've got a lot of money, go for level 3. All right, going through here, let's just see what else. Okay, Noble, noble Keys. Noble Keys, you can get 26 keys, basically, for $5. Okay, now... These keys are keys you can get for free in the game, generally speaking. But you'll also notice if you go to your items, you will end up having a lot of chests that you can't open because you get more chests than you do noble keys. 
So is it worthwhile getting the keys? Well, it depends on the level that you're on. These Noble Chest 5, for example, uh, can now give you Noble Badges, can give you, well, more Noble Badges, can give you more resources and things like that. Level 4, again, the, the higher your level, obviously, the better the items you get. But this is one of the easiest ways from Noble Level 5 onwards, the easiest ways to get Noble Badges. Um, one of the quickest ways as well. So if you've got a little bit of money that you want to spend and you're trying to get your levels up and you're, you're on SH30, for example, or you just passed 30, you're trying to get all the way up to 40, you need, a, you'll, you need a lot of noble badges. You need a hell of a lot of noble badges. In which particular case, that per bundle purchase that you can get might just come in handy for you at a $5 for 26 keys. You can potentially get quite a lot of noble badges out of it. All right, going down to heroes, your NS3 heroes or whichever hero is currently the best will be at the top and they will be the most expensive. If you are not a high spending player, I would not recommend purchasing these at all. For example, Cadogan you can get for free with the Netherfall event in the Netherfall shop. Madoc, not yet, but probably coming soon. It's, it's not worth it at this price because you need to purchase 20 fragments to get the hero. So to get the hero without having extra fragments to make all his skills open is already going to cost you an astronomical amount of money. It's going to be a hell of a lot of money just to get the hero that you can't really do anything with. If you've got a lot of money, sure, go for it. If you're a medium spend player, I would still say don't do it. What you really want to rather concentrate on is going to be your NS2 heroes and your NS1 heroes. Whenever you got the, the best set at the top here, each of these become cheaper and cheaper along. So, for example, I can get nine fragments here for the same price as four, and I can get 25 for the same price as that nine or four. Your NS1 heroes, you want them for your council, then your NS2 for your council, and your NS3 for your council. If you are a low spend player to low to medium spend, and you want to get the hero fragments, I would say look at your Dundrain and Brutus. Um, they're going to help you out a lot. If you've maximized out on them, I still don't think it's worth purchasing these bundles. Rather use that money for something else. Okay, going through your heroes, Aurelius Pendragon. He is actually really, really good. He is going to afford you reduction to construction and things like that as well. Let's just go over here and have a quick look. Uh, there he is. So currently I have mine with three skills unlocked at full 60. He's at level 35 and one star, and I'm getting construction food requirements less 1.5 million, research wood requirements less 1 million, research food requirements less 1.25 million. He is actually really, really good if you can get him up there. He's got also hero construction can go, uh, iron can go down by 600,000, silver down by 200,000, and iron uh, for research down by 800,000. So he can come in very, very, very handy. So if you are going to have a small amount of money that you want to purchase and help you progress further in the game or you really need to concentrate on your construction make sure you've got your war wolf gear make sure you've got your red spend dragon and between the two you're going to be saving quite a lot of money and resources okay going down you've got normal items so we're going to go past that into dragon not worry about anything there here every time a new piece of equipment comes out like for example the imperial equipment came out you have the last set of equipment that is for sale as a completed item for a reduced amount of money. Now here you can purchase, if you do not have the destruction equipment yet, you can purchase two sets of destruction as well as upgrade materials, which is going to help you to get your destruction to plus two so that you, when you've got your Imperial ingots ready, you can upgrade straight away to Imperial ingots or obviously save for your next shop event. Are these worthwhile? No. To be honest, no. These items, the destruction items, you can get for free. Every day doing your level 35 and lower barbarian rallies is going to potentially give you destruction ingots. You can get them from your daily alliance store. You can get them from ceremonies and that sort of thing 100% free. Yes, it takes longer, but you can get it for free and it doesn't take that long. So 
If you don't have the time or you're a medium spend player and you want to just do it, obviously you go ahead. You're going to be able to get yourself that upgrade quite quickly. But if you are a low to uh, to almost nothing spend player or like me, a basically free to play player that will purchase a one dollar bundle here or there, is this worth it? Not at all, considering I can get it for free. I just got to have the patience. Beyond that, you can do your Empyrean ingots for like, for example, here I can get a set of 30 or 60 or 150 or 300 is it worthwhile not really either because you can once again get these for free it's a lot slower than destruction but you can get these for free if you are rallying levels 36 or up on your barbarian rallies you can get these for free and it, it, it just bear in mind it does take time in since the last shop event till this new shop event, I've been saving up my Imperial ingots and I got enough from doing Barbarian rallies for one upgrade to Imperian. So I got 100 fragments there and I've got another 15 here. So I got 115 in the month between the two shop events. So it is obtainable. You can do it for free if you've got the patience. If you want to purchase something and you want to get quicker there, a low spend, medium spend player might purchase the first or second bundles. High end will probably be purchasing straight up the most expensive one, which because that's going to give you enough for three upgrades straight away. So you'll get the meteorite iron, you'll get the steel, and you'll get the Imperial ingots, just like that. Okay. Uh, gemstones. Again, when a new, new one comes out, like this Immortal Gem, you can purchase the previous best set for a lower rate. In this particular case, I can get the Precious Crimson Sanguine um, for a lower fee than I would have got it at all beforehand. Um, is this worth it? This can be worth it. If you are a medium spend player, it might be worth it for you, especially if you've got the Honest Pass and you manage to get enough of these fragments to upgrade your Sanguine, it might actually be worthwhile for you to purchase one or two of these and do it, or purchase the set. But again, that depends on your budget. For low to low spend players, I would say don't do it, uh, simply because you can get your Dream Gems for, uh, for free, basically. And pretty soon i've got a feeling that these sanguine gems you're going to be able to get them even easier similar to how you get the dream gems now so i would say don't do it if you are a low to almost no spend player rather concentrate on your dream gems for free medium spend sure go for it purchase one or two of these high end obviously you're going to have all of these already or you're going to purchase these outright and then you're going to be upgrading these already right hero weapons again the Raven set came out, so now the Torrent set is available. Same rule applies for everything else. If you're a medium spend player, you might want to purchase one or two of these. If you're a low end player, don't do it. You can get these for free by doing your daily stuff that we've talked about many times on this channel. Um, going down to emblems, same thing. You can get your emblems for uh, cheaper, but you can also get them for free by participating in portal monsters and things like that. Your artifact upgrades and your artifact Horn of Skein, again, you can get it for free. Purchasing it is very expensive, especially considering the fact that there is a bit of chatter about the fact that artifacts might not make it very much longer in the game. So I would definitely recommend to not purchase anything relating to artifacts at the moment until we know exactly what's happening with them. But you can also get your Horn of Skein for free in the game. So maybe you want to rather just concentrate on free. Uh, if you're a medium spend player, not the stuff's not really worth it that much. You might want to get a couple of these bundles, for example, here where you can get the 56. It's going to get you there quicker. Uh, but you're not going to get a hell of a lot for a medium spend amount. Even at the maximum price, the maximum size you can get is still not even enough for one artifact uh, creation. So is it worth it? No, not, not in my opinion. Um, statues, again... These are the statue items that you can get. Materials you can get generally for free, so don't worry about it uh, unless you are spending, in which case you probably already got these because this set has been out now for a little while. Your Genesis Statue Arcana, you can get 40 of these in the bundle or you can go up to 80 and 200. 200 is what you need to activate a slot. Now that slot will actually activate four sets of statues, uh, giving you four sets of statistic boosts. 
the boosts are not that great from statues, okay? But they do add up considering there's four of them. So if you active, if you purchase one of these bundles, for example, you're going to get easily 600% upwards on something's statistics, okay? Is it worth it? Not really. Not really, unless you're spending a lot of money and you want to push it again quickly because you can get the next level down again very easily and for free. I've managed to save up enough of the parts. Let me just get to it quickly to show you. I've saved up enough of the ap Apocalyptic Arcana since the last shop event till this shop event to do my last two statues for free. So it's, it's not really worth it. Plus, you're going to get uh, the difference between Arcana and Apocalypse. The, ap sorry, the Apocalyptic and Genesis isn't that big of a difference to warrant that big of a price to be outlaying. So we're going to move past that. Let's go to Alliance. Now, some of these Alliance items are really good. And if you're in Alliance with some spenders, some big spenders, they're going to probably be purchasing items like this Alliance Teleport Pack, especially during Kingdom Raids and things like that, in which case everybody else in the Alliance who's free to play, for example, or low spend is going to get a teleport out of it, which is really fantastic. If you want to purchase teleports, this is the best way to do it. You're going to get 15 teleports uh, straight off the bat, you're also going to get an envelope, which is so stupid to me because the envelope is is really so useless in this game. Um, but you're also going to be benefiting your alliance by allowing everybody in your alliance to get a teleport. So these are actually really nice bundles. I do like these alliance teleport bundles a lot. The alliance banner bundles, which gives prestige banners, is actually really nice as well. The other two, they're not bad, but these two are the two that I actually really like a lot. If you have got money, you're going to be purchasing this definitely for Kingdom Raids and things like that. And you're going to be purchasing these because once you get to level 30 on your prestige banners and higher, it becomes ridiculously expensive to level up those uh, prestige banners on your buildings. So if you're a spending player, you will probably be purchasing one of these every now and then. And you'll probably be purchasing these. If you are a spender and you weren't thinking of purchasing these, you were just going to purchase teleports from the store, for example, you might consider purchasing this because it's going to assist your alliance out as well. Dragon Spirit, I would personally say ignore absolutely everything on this page because the Dragon Spirit does not help you out enough to warrant spending any money on it. You can get the maximum stats from the Dragon Spirit for free quite easily just requires a lot of grinding and time but quite easily you can maximize out on that for free there's nothing here on this page that is worth you spending any money on irrespective of what type of spender you are going down to others you have got this royal count temporary accolade a lot of people like it i do not it gives you a 10 percent boost to your troop health troop attack troop defense for a period of seven days i think it was seven days okay but it expires after the seven days so i would not be purchasing this as a medium uh, as a low or medium spend player at all as a high-end player you, you you might be purchasing these to maximize out when you go on raiding and things like that but personally i would not be purchasing it um anything else here nothing else really that's that important to note what lucky shot bundles can come in handy if you are running low on materials for specific things, you can purchase these and spin the wheel sort of thing. Or if you short on a lot of different materials, you need materials for hero upgrades, you need for your hero weapon upgrades, for emblem upgrades, for gems, and you short a little bit on everything. Instead of going and purchasing big bundles or medium sized bundles to get those items one at a time, you can purchase 12 lucky shot, go through to the tavern. Let me show you there quickly. So you purchase those Lucky Shots, go to the tavern, go to Lucky Shot, and then here, once you're inside, you select, okay, I'm short on gemstones a bit, so I'm going to go to gemstones, click refresh, and then I'm going to throw a couple of darts to see, one or two darts, and see if I can get the items I need. Then I'm going to go to emblems, and I'm going to refresh, and I'm going to throw the darts, one or two darts, and see how well I can get. Hopefully I'm lucky. Hero weapon, same thing, refresh. Keep refreshing till you get the sword there. That's a nice one. Now I'm going to throw two or three darts and see if I'm lucky to get what I need. So the lucky the, the, the lucky shot bundle can maybe help you out. Um, it's not really that good though. And then your gold bundles. I don't particularly like these at all simply because for that price there, for example, I can get at least a thousand gold 
and something else that's going to benefit me at, in the game even better sort of thing. Um, you get more on your first time purchase though. But again, I, I, I don't see the benefit of really purchasing gold outright. There's one other thing that uh, that you need to be aware of, and that is that there is limited time purchasing events. For example, sometimes you have up here, and I can't show you now because it's not active at the moment, but up here sometimes you will have a VIP shop. Now that VIP shop, if you've got it, have a look through it. You're going to be able to get, if you scroll all the way down, a $1 bundle as well, which is most of the time going to give you Evane, the bestower. Okay, let me just show you Evane quickly. Evane the bestower, and she's going to be able to increase your construction speed, building speed up, trap construction speed, research speed, healing speed, and troop training speed. If you can get the $1 bundles from the VIP store with her, or look at what other bundles you got there, there's sometimes some really, really good cheap bundles available. So you might want to have a look at that as well. Okay, and then the absolute last thing, that you can that i want you to be aware of is going to be the alliance treasure hunt now it's not active at the moment in in my kingdom so i can't go into it to show you but this alliance treasure hunt is actually really really good for recharging as simple as 200 gold meaning buying a one dollar bundle you then have access to all these rewards and if you're in a, in a, a big alliance that does have a few spenders you're going to be able to traverse this map relatively quickly. We are personally in an alliance where all four of these rewards are opened by before the event is over. So by purchasing literally a $1 bundle, I get to get all four sets of rewards. Now, again, this isn't available right now in mind. So this is just images of what one looks like. So I'm just going to quickly show you your first reward, for example, gave, and this is an older one, obviously, as I say, it's not live now, but it gave the key for the chest, it gave Walter Drake uh, um, manuscripts, so you could have got Walter Drake emblems, the second reward was for your upgrade materials and speed ups, again, that's a lot of material, Tears of Ascension, for literally purchasing a $1 bundle, so let's say you purchased a $1 bundle that gave you two equipment, items to open for your next shop event so you for that one dollar bundle you technically got those two equipment items you also got your hundred manuscripts water drag manuscripts you also got a key for your noble pass you also got tears of ascension in that then you also got at the next at the last final level if if your alliance gets there you manage to get yourself brutus and dindrain completely 100 percent for free and uh Okay, well, not for free, for $1. So the Alliance Treasure Hunt is definitely something you want to participate in. Even if you are a free-to-play player, try and get at least a $1 bundle. If everybody in your alliance gets a $1 bundle or more, you guys will be traversing this here. It's definitely worth it at the end of the day. Plus, you'll get a reward over here for getting that 200 gold. So that a reward is going to be quite quite high this was actually the second level reward that we skipped somehow it is the statue upgrade material in that so for that one dollar bundle you're going to get a lot and if you're in an alliance that does have spenders you're going to get to your second third and potentially even your fourth level and all it cost you was the one dollar you're going to have a lot of rewards out of it so that is another definite must if possible Right, so that's it for where should I spend my money. I hope you guys learned something out of this. I hope it helped you in one way or another. Um, if you got anything else, or maybe there's something that I missed that is a definite assist purchase or a must purchase or something like that, drop a comment down below, let me know. Otherwise, if this video helped you out in any way or you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. It really does help me out. And if you want to be alerted to every time we do videos like this, please hit the subscribe and bell notification icon so that you can be alerted every time one of these videos goes live. Otherwise, guys, until the next video, be good, be well, and be safe. Bye.